Hey Taurus, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? Holy Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? And we have competition, some courage and self-confidence. So you may be vying for a new position, a promotion, or a new job. This could also be feeling like you have to compete for someone's attention, but I feel like this is something where you have a fear and you're needing to overcome it, and that's where courage and self-confidence are really gonna come into play for you. I also get that this is like the strength card here, so it is about strength. It is about inner strength, about courage, about integrity, and inner knowing. So I feel like this is really playing up to your strengths as far as what your skills and talents are and less focused on what you what you struggle with and what you um, need to work on. It's all about really up playing the things that you know you're good at, the things that you have an innate talent for. What else do we have for Taurus? And we have your eternal spirit, higher self, sacred intuition. So I feel like there's going to be some foresight here. This, I do see her um, really meditating and coming into this third eye chakra. So let's see what number 43 has to say. I don't know if I've gotten this card before, but let's see. People often define themselves according to the restrictions of their human bodies and mental and emotional patterns. They rarely focus on the unlimited power and value of their spirit. But if this is your approach, it only limits your happiness and your experience of value in the world. This card heralds a time of great spiritual value. You are at the point where you can finally awaken to the full and ever-present power of your eternal spirit. This very real side of you preceded your present self, going all the way back to divine consciousness, the source of your true identity. Meditate on the sacred intuition of your inner voice and the radiant wisdom it brings. Let go of limitation and commune with your perfect sacred identity. The more you turn to the eternal spirit within, the more truth, beauty, and blessings will adorn your life. So the affirmation here is my eternal spirit guides me in everything I do. I am blessed with the unlimited value, power, and deserving of my soul. It's beautiful. So I feel like this is almost reminding you of this spiritual strength that you have. And the, the foresight, your, your intuition is going to guide you through your higher self. Or your higher self is going to guide you through your intuition is more like it. So I feel like this is where you're going to um, come into wisdom that you didn't even know you had. All right, what else do we have for Taurus? And we have go with the flow. So I feel like this is really asking you to let go of control don't worry about um, trying to control a situation because you're not in control. This is more about you going with the flow, be, being flexible and being able to um, kind of withstand all the changes that are going on, being able to pivot very easily. Um, I also feel like your emotions are going to come into play. Your emotions um, let them flow. Don't fight against them. All right. So let's see what else we have for Taurus. And we have the hanged man observe. So I feel like um, this is about seeing things from others perspectives. I do feel like you've put in a bunch of sacrifice here. And I feel like it, none of it is going to waste. I feel like Spirit wants you to know that even though you may have sacrificed, it has earned you something. It may not be what you think it is. What's the challenge here? And we have awaiting results, the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like that is your, um, your biggest challenge here is that you are not seeing the results yet. I feel like 
This is making you feel impatient. It's making you feel um, like you're not going to win at something. But I feel like there is a need to look at everything that you're gaining regardless of the outcome. So this is the experience, the wisdom, the um, the connection to your soul that you maybe didn't have before. I feel like there's so much that you're gaining that um, it, the outcome is almost irrelevant. All right, so what is the advice from spirit here? And we have flow again, go with the flow and flow. This is the wheel of fortune. This is about divine timing and destiny. So I feel like um, if this is meant for you, it will come to you. If it is not, then there's something even better coming. Okay, so I do feel like you're at the top of the wheel. I do feel like there's a need to understand that the wheel is always turning and to go with the flow and you know, it's like, how do you maintain your position? Um, I feel like, you know, it's always moving. So go with the flow. This flow is definitely um, being highlighted here. Okay, so what is the outcome here? And we have the nine of swords, darkest fears. Your fears are really your ultimate challenge. Your fears you you feel like you're consciously your challenge is you know um impatience but but ultimately it's your own thoughts about yourself that um that are your biggest challenge that's what i'm getting here so this is about transforming your thoughts and really being self-confident based on the things that you know the based on the things that you know you have a talent for based on the skills that you've acquired, the wisdom that you've acquired, the lessons you've learned. At the bottom of the deck, we have the sun here. So this is saying everything is going to turn out positively in your favor. Um, regardless of how you look at the outcome, you're going to have clarity and confidence here. That's what I'm getting here. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify show me this hanged man why is this hanged man here and we have the seven of wands so yeah i feel like there's been a lot of things that may have come up against you but you've maintained the higher ground and look at that it's like the same you know position here where you're meditating or connecting with the divine show me this seven of pentacles And we have the Ace of Swords, so the truth. I feel like this is where you need to be the most realistic and practical with yourself. But this is also understanding that you are going to have victory. And it's just a matter of this divine timing. And knowing that you're investing into something, you're investing in yourself. And this is where you're going to get this foresight, this understanding, this clarity. Show me this Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Knight of Swords. So, yes, I do feel like there are times that you need to go after what you want. But there's something about not trying to control or um, be the savior of the day. That's what I'm getting here. It's more about going with the flow and not pushing so hard for something. Show me this Darkest Fears, the Nine of Swords. And we have the sun card again here. So this is about being connected with your higher self. This is about overcoming your fears. And this is about having that clarity and clearing your mind from all this negativity. Because this is the most positive card in the deck and you've gotten it twice. So everything is going to turn out positively, whether it looks exactly the way you expected it to or not. And you also have the moon at the bottom of the deck. This is talking about overcoming your fears. This is talking about illusions. And this is talking about shadow things within yourself. And you see this moon card here. This is about overcoming fear. All right, so let's go ahead and get some guidance here. What guidance do we have for Taurus? I 
What guidance do we have for Taurus? Okay, we have miracle. Dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, let not hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. And I truly believe that miracle is coming with the sun coming out twice. And I feel like it's just a matter of overcoming your fear. I feel like you need this victory. This um, You need to come into... Um, taking action despite your fears so that you have that victory that's going to totally fuel your self-confidence that's what i'm getting here so those are the messages that came through for you thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and remember the universe has your back and so do i take care